through the generous contribution of Dr. Lewis's family, we're very fortunate to be able to share with you these timeless recordings of Dr. M. W. Lewis, a self-realized American yogi. Dr. Lewis was Paramahansa Yogananda's first American disciple and dearest personal friend. The wisdom Dr. Lewis imparts through these teachings will give you a dynamic and practical insight into the ancient science of yoga as taught by Paramahansa Yogananda. This lecture's title is A Tribute to Master and was delivered in San Diego, California on March the 8th, 1953. At this time, I would like to pay tribute to the beloved Master on the anniversary of his entering the Great Samadhi. What words I can say will be futile compared to his own words. And I believe in his poem, When I Am Only a Dream, that there we will find all the advice, all the comfort that we need in a far better way than any words which I might utter. And so I would like to read at this time the Master's poem, When I Am Only a Dream. I come to tell you all of him and the way to encase him in your bosom and of the discipline that brings his grace. To those of you who have asked me to guide you to my beloved's presence, I will warn you through my silently talking mind or speak to you through a gentle significant glance or whisper to you through my love or loudly dissuade you when you stray away from him. And so these first lines have reference to the time when he was with us on this earth plane. The rest of the poem is dedicated to his watchfulness and care of us now that he is one with the great light and consciousness of our common Father. But when I shall become only a memory, a mental image, or inwardly speaking voice, when no earthly call will reveal my whereabouts in unplumbed space, when no shallow entreaty or stern stentorian command will bring for me an answer, then I will smile in your mind when you are right. And when you are wrong, I will weep through my eyes, dimly peering at you in the dark and weep through your eyes, perchance. And I will whisper to you through your conscience, and I will reason with you through your reason, and I will love through your love. When you are able no longer to talk to me, read my whispers from eternity. Eternally through that I will talk to you. Unknown, I will walk by your side and guide you with invisible arms. And as soon as you know my beloved and hear his voice in silence, you will know me again more tangibly than you knew me on this earth plane. When I am only a dream to you, I will come to remind you that you too are not but a dream of my heavenly beloved. And when you know you are a dream, as I know now, we will be ever awake in him. And so, if any of us have any doubt as to the protection and love and guidance of the beloved Master, it should now be dispelled. 
for he is watching us. He is nearer to us than when he was with us on this earth plane. And so let us be of good cheer. Fight the good fight. Play our part in the drama of life, realizing that we have the unconditional love and protection of the beloved Master to take us home once again to cosmic consciousness. In order to profit from these practical teachings in a meaningful way, which will have a definite and tangible impact in your life, we suggest that you subscribe to the Self-Realization Fellowship's Home Study Course on the Science of Yoga. Please visit the SRF on the web at yogananda-srf.org or call the SRF's Mother Center in Los Angeles, California at 323-225-2471.